Hey kids, Tavi Rider here. I wanted to give you a tour of my latest project. This is a fully automated minecart station. I had to build it inside of this large keep because I was playing on hard and doing this above ground and I was dying a lot. So I made this, got some battlements and torches for signals and a automated double door and a few other little amenities like that. Um, but that was just to protect this whole system. So let me show you how it works. And it really is fully automated. There's just these five buttons. You press this one to get yourself a minecart. It pulls it off of the minecart stack and ships it off and it will land perfectly on the spot where you get in and now you select your destination. When I hit, uh, let's go down to the lava pools. When I hit the lava pools button, here comes our double booster cart and we're headed underground. This is actually the first tunnel I built in this world. It's a very old world. It started back when there was winter mode. And I found my first lava there, and I kept finding these lava pools, and I was amazed. It was great. Nowadays, you know, this is the just the beginning. Uh, I'll just cut this trip a little bit short. Uh, my branch mines and so on are over there, but we'll just head back up with this booster cart here. Uh, one of the difficult things to do with a minecart station that's fully automated is you may be coming in with any amount of momentum. Here we're going to be flying in pretty fast. And I had to get the cart to stop on the same spot, so you go up a ramp, you fly through the air, hit a block, and then down another little ramp, and here you are exactly on the same spot every time. Now, we get out, and we're done with that cart. Just press the minecart return button, and it sends a double booster and it goes right back up onto the stack. Now let me show you what it took to do all of this. Uh, there's three different turns, one, two, and three, that are hooked up to some RS NOR latches. There's also a plate that makes sure that you're on spot before it actually sends a booster card. Uh, this is a double booster, a very simple, very fast one, so you only need to have a button press. It only needs to open this uh, this turn long enough to have that double booster come out so you don't have to use a lever or anything like that and here's all the circuitry below ground now this is uh, I used different colors of wool to mark each of the circuits and dirt is either places where I was keeping two parts of redstone disconnected or they're the logic gates in here so what we have are the yellow white red and orange signal lines from the four buttons that select the destination. There's also the pink button for venting the cart. Um, all of the main signal lines come into this uh, purple OR line. So this signals whether any button has been pressed on any of the lines. And you use that to decide when to reset the, the destinations on any of the turns. So let's take a look at the yellow line. We have uh, this is the signal for, I believe, the seven phantoms. And then the ore line, we have to do a little bit of logic here to make sure if the ore line was lit and the yellow line was not lit, then you signal to reset the latch. That's what the black line is. So the black and yellow come into an RS NOR latch here, and the signal comes out and well, had to be routed all the way around here to control that gate. There's also, uh, you have to have hit one of the buttons, that's the purple line, and be standing on the pressure plate, or you hit the minecart return button, and that will send a booster cart. So that's the, the dark green is the line for a booster cart. So we have that, lo that logic, and then we have three of these RS NOR latch and AND setups. So that was one back there. Here's the second one, and then in the back is a third one. And, you know, coloring these with the different colors wool was very helpful. It helped me keep track of where everything was running, helped me keep signals separate. So I recommend that technique. And if I can get out of here, I can take you on a tour of the Seven Phantoms. So let's get ourselves another minecart. Pop it off the stack. And we're going to be heading off in this second direction. So you see that this gate is heading the wrong way. We want to go out through that protected doorway. So when I hit the button, you can see the gate just changes direction, and along comes our booster cart, and we're on our way. So if all you were interested in was the station, you can uh, say your goodbyes now, but I wanted to also show off the Seven Phantoms. This was one of my first real worlds in Minecraft, and I was amazed by this. Uh, 
I was heading north on my first real exploration and found these beautiful overhangs. So we have three of the four of the seven phantoms right here. In winter mode, these looked fantastic because the interiors there would be no snow. The snow would be falling on the outside of these. Hello, what are you doing up there? Uh, I built this line to take me to the first drop farm. I found a dungeon for zombies and made the most convoluted, over-engineered, bizarre, but it barely works, drop farm for zombies. So we'll head down there. This one's my favorite of the seven phantoms. The waterfall, everything was natural. This is my old minecart station before I had the automated setup head into the dungeon. I tend to keep things as natural as possible. The keep is the most gaudy thing I've actually built above ground. Most of my building is below ground. Love the natural look of this game. I didn't even want to build a stairwell down here. I just used the fall elevator to get over to the dungeon. And here's my first drop farm. Yeah, this big convoluted spiral water thing that I thought I had to have to get more drops and it eventually drowns them in the bottom. We'll pick up the drops down here. Anyone need some feathers? Anyway, thanks for watching.